Hey guys, welcome to TCR, Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I'm gonna go over a few tricks with how to get your backyard flock under control. So I've been keeping chickens and geese and peafowl and ducks here for the last seven years. And I've learned a lot about their behavior, their needs, their likes and dislikes in that time. And I'm gonna pass some of that knowledge on to you guys since it's spring. A lot of you are maybe starting your first backyard flock and just kind of give you a few quick tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. If you're really wanting to have a friendly backyard flock, I do recommend that you handle them when they are young as much as you can. You do wanna keep in mind obviously that they are wild birds that have been you know they're kind of they're domesticated but they're still little wild creatures and they have things that naturally they are going to want to do they're going to want to like my geese for example they will like to peck at me sometimes and nip at me but it's like a loving thing it's like a test me out kind of see you just like that doesn't even hurt just literally going on my finger and with these guys i've had since they were goslings they just eat right out of my hands and they they love they love getting treats right out of my hand it's one of their favorite things to do so one of the tricks that i do is while i'm brooding my chicks or i've got young birds uh, whether it's chickens geese peafowl whatever it is i take them in when i'm watching tv and i put a towel on my lap and I will sometimes bring in some of their uh, crumble, their starter crumble, and let them kind of, you know, eat out of my hand, just kind of get them used to me, get them used to being handled um, so that they aren't skittish, so that they're not afraid. Sorry, my kids are like, they're out here and they're like, why aren't you playing with me? They're fun though. But having that time with them where you're just kind of letting them explore your lap on a towel, having your hand, handy they know that it's not threatening they're getting treats they start associating you with something good and that's what you want you want them to come running to you when you come out the back door not running in the opposite direction or running away from you because that way when they're older and you need to deal with them because of maybe a medical issue or maybe you just need to clip a wing and you know or you need to separate them for whatever reason um, because of breeding purposes whatever it is it's easy that way to be able to just walk up pick them up and you know and, and take them versus a bird that you haven't handled young that's not used to you that's going to put up a little bit of a fight now as they get older uh, i do like to provide some extra treats for them that's going to help promote things like healthy feathers and good strong eggs. Now usually around the 15 to 18 month mark for chickens is when they go through their first molt. Sometimes it's super mild, sometimes it's really intense. It just depends uh, on the breed, the weather, the, the individual bird. You know, I've had some go through and look like, you know, naked chickens running around the yard. And I've had some that you could barely tell they were molting. But to help them get through that hump of molting during their first real laying season, because it is, it's stressful on their little systems. They need a little more calcium. They need a little more protein. I really do recommend this Grub Terra black soldier fly larva. The birds love it. If I walk out this back door with this bag, they are, they're not leaving my side as long as I'm sitting out here with this bag. Now they also like me, but if I sat here long enough without the bag, they would, they'd wander away after a couple of minutes. I've been out here for about five or seven minutes now, and they are still glued to my side, hoping for more treats because they really, and the geese keep trying to knock the bag over to get more to spill out. They really do love them. And it's a great source of calcium for them. It's a great source of extra protein for them to help them get through the, the, the months where they're, you know, molting and trying to lay eggs. You can see they're all gathered around me. They really do love this black fly larva. I'll put a link down below in the description of the video so you guys can go check it out. Use promo code TCR to get your very own bag of Grub Terra black fly larva for your flock at home so you can see how well they love it, how they will just eat out of your hand, how they thrive on it. You're very aggressive with your eating today. You don't even let any of the chickens have any. Another great thing about giving them this extra bump in protein is it helps keep down aggression 
chickens are little omnivores and they are like little dinosaurs. If they don't get a certain amount of meat protein in their diet, it can also increase their aggression towards each other as well as their own picking of their own feathers and on each other's feathers. So giving them that extra protein not only is good for their own physical health, but it's good for their mental health and for the mental health of the rest of the flock because it keeps them from beating up each other. It keeps the aggression levels down when they've had a nice, juicy black soldier fly larva snack. Having these treats available too is really great for getting them used to you once they get a little bit older. Let's say you get a, a bird that's a specific breed that you really want and, and maybe you get it when it's at the point of lay and maybe it's not been handled so much and you didn't have it from the time it was a chick. Using these treats, to get them to eat out of your hand is a great way to get them to trust you and to bond with you a little bit. Are you nibbling on my fingers, sillies? And it's a really great way because they love them so much, they will come running for them. So let's say, you know, you're doing something and you need all the birds out of your way in the yard and you want to get them all penned up in the coop. They will follow you into the coop with this and go up. Let's say you got a new bird and you're trying to train it that that's where the coop is. Using these will help them learn that that's where home is and I get a treat when I go home. But having something like that that they really enjoy and that's good for them too versus just putting out scratch or corn that really isn't all that great for them. This is a really fabulous treat, supplement, whatever. The other thing that I will mention about it, and I won't go on too long about it, but I do like the fact that in particular, Grub Terra, it's a USA company and they're recycling food waste from restaurants and things like that in order to create these black fly larvae. Stop, buddy. Uh, just really trying to get in that bag. I love that it's kind of doing a, a, a good thing for the environment while also being a wonderful treat for my birds. Make sure you guys check out that link below so you can get your very own Grub Terra. Use promo code TCR in the description for a discount when you go there and order yours. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it for your birds. So great way to get them trained, whether you want to try to get them trained to go into the coop or to just recall and come to you when you want them to. And not to mention just a fun little thing to let them eat out of your hands. I'm definitely a bird nut. I love watching all my different birds interact. I love spending time with them. And I know that in the beginning for some people it can be kind of daunting when they start their backyard flock. Some people are a little nervous about chickens, um, even though they're such an easy bird to care for, or maybe you have a mixed flock like I do. You know, there's things to keep in mind. If you notice, I do have some ducks back here. I've got my Muscovies. Um, I do have a drake right there. He is the most gentle, kindest drake. I've got a goose nibbling my behind right now. Stop it. I know. He has never ever gone after one of my chickens. Um, he was raised from the time he was a duckling with his ducklings and with his girls and with chickens. And he has never gone after a chicken. He's never tried to do anything with a chicken. But I would say definitely make sure that your drake is well behaved if you are gonna have him in a mixed flock because a drake can do real damage to a chicken hen when he's trying to uh, have the sexy time with her um, because they are one of the few species of birds that do have a male appendage and chickens were not designed for that. So it can cause many issues, including death of your flock. So don't just think that you can automatically mix different species of birds together. I do not recommend it normally. When or if you do it, I do recommend making sure you have enough females of his same species and that he is the only male so that he doesn't feel the need to really assert dominance over the entire flock and that he's got enough ladies to keep his attention without turning to one of your lovely little chicken friends to, uh, try to make some weird hybrid that's never gonna come to fruition. We're edging out of spring and into summer, which means pretty much wherever you are, it's going to get warmer. The temperatures are gonna get hot and your birds are gonna need ways to cool down. So during the summer, remember that they don't sweat. They have to have ways to cool themselves down. And the number one way that birds do this is with dust baths. So making sure that you have an area that is either uh, loose dirt or ash from your fireplace. I like to use the ash from our fireplace that we save up over the winter and dump it out here. I have a pit for them. They roll around in it, they kick it up um, and they 
will even move the, the, the bark chips out here and get into the dirt and throw it on themselves and dust themselves. This really does help aerate the areas between the feathers and lets the cool air in and circulate and really does cool them down. Another thing that you can do as well is give them some frozen treats. Uh, if it's excessively hot out, sometimes we get into, you know, 110 degrees and things like that out here, uh, sometimes a little hotter and the birds get very, very hot. Uh, you don't want to wet your birds down. You don't want them soaked because that will actually trap the heat in their feathers and actually raise their temperature, which is not what you're trying to do. Misters can be okay as long as they're sporadic and not like a constant mist that's eventually just gonna soak them. But I do recommend doing some kind of a little like kiddie pool that they can walk in, especially if you've got, you know, a mixed flock with like geese and ducks, they're obviously gonna wanna get in the water. So I do have that little wash basin behind me that I clean out every day and that they drink in, swim in, play in, do all kinds of stuff in. And during the hot days, uh, even the chickens will get in there sometimes and walk around a little bit because they help cool themselves down with their feet as well. So even if you just have a thin pan of cool water that they can walk through, it will help keep them cool in these hot summer months. And of course, providing shade as well is key. Make sure that they have a nice shady area. As you can see here, this is the, we're just about coming up on noon here in the middle of the day and they have this nice shady area as well as part of their coop area, as well as the area underneath their coop that is always shaded. That is a perfect amount of shade for them. There's also a few other areas of other trees over there, but this is where they like to hang out the most generally. So making sure they have a dust bath, a shade area and adequate water for both drinking and maybe splashing themselves a little bit. If you're not doing like a mister system, highly recommend making sure you keep those birds comfortable this summer. Those are my tips guys. Look how much they love their treats. They will come to me no matter what. They're still standing here this whole time while I've been talking to you. They love their black fly larva from Grub Terra. Enjoy your flock this summer guys. Make sure you're taking good care of them and they will take good care of you by providing wonderful eggs, meat, and entertainment. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. It's like a game of Hungry Hungry Hippo. <laughs> They're too funny. They're still following me because I'm carrying the bag. <laughs> They're too funny. No, you guys had enough. Your, your little gluttons, no more. But they do love it. Don't forget to check out that promo code TCR, link down below in the description.